It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute for March 21st, 2018. In today's episode, Beta Brand uses 3D to take designs to market in just five days. Beta Brand with products like sweat pant dress pants, lava lizard smoking jackets, and onesie business suits is not your typical clothing company. The company designs, manufactures, and releases new products in limited quantities each week. In 2013, Beta Brand launched a crowdfunding platform similar to Kickstarter so that users can crowdsource clothing concepts and prototypes into actual products. Since the inception of the crowdfunding platform, Beta Brand has funded almost 100 garments, including its dress pant yoga pants, dual purpose design to look more like formal trousers, and an urban jacket modeled on space wear. The company has recently announced it can now design and prepare pre-sale products like shoes in five days or less, rather than the typical 18 month process, according to a press release mailed to Retail Dive. The Beta Band press release explained that the accelerated process starts with a series of online consumer polls. The company then uses 3D rendering technology to quickly develop products and related content based on the consumer opinions expressed in the polls. The new process, which the company has been testing and honing since last year, is currently being used to create a new model of women's dress shoe that is available for pre-sale online. The shoes are called On Your Mark Heels and of this writing have achieved 342% of their goal with about two weeks left. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love Beta Brand. I have some so stuff. do I. I love their stuff. A little quirkiness, but it's really fun stuff. It's really fun. Their marketing is exceptional. Uh, the, everything they do is fun and creative. Uh, I don't know how big this company is. They must be pretty big. I think they've taken funding. Yeah, um, they did. But uh, they also, I think they're owned by somebody now. Um, oh, really? Bill, Bill Murray golf pants are. Have you seen those pants? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's perfect. You know, Bill Murray's a weird guy. And so now they put out a line of throwback golf bell bottoms. That's a, um, that's a, that's a Robert Brody special. It's a Robert Brody special. Absolutely. We should get him a pair. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is, this, is, uh, this is part of the trend. They call it fast fashion. Uh, fast fashion would be considered like retailers like Old Navy. Uh, even Walmart, it's like fashion that's in and out quickly. It's not stuff that's going to last forever. Uh, the beta brand stuff is is definitely of a higher quality. I have a couple of their shirts and I have a hoodie. There's their yeah, stuff's really good. There's but a I thing think what Taylor. they're saying is what they're saying is it's 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 more quick from design to market and then out. Meaning, mm-hmm. um, Forever Twenty One is a great example of this. They get stuff in, it doesn't, it's not there very long, and then it's gone because I think, and with this trend, the consumers are more, taste change a lot quicker now, a lot, lot quicker than they ever did. So the buyers are more savvy in that they will not buy, they don't want to be sitting on product. So they're constantly turning, turning, turning the racks. So that if you go into Forever 21 or even Old Navy, you go in there and the same stuff is not going to be there in a few weeks. It may be the same, it may be in the same season, but the types of the, the, the designs are going to quickly change. And I think what Beta Brand is doing with 3D printing is really neat because you could make something and then realize that, you know, you're you're a hundred pairs in, uh, these shoes aren't people don't want these shoes, or the other aspect is you've you've tested it using 3D and you could then pay for molds and do the traditional way to go. So there's there's less of a risk and more of an upside of profit from each thing that you produce. Yeah, there's um I don't know what's retailer, not H and M, somebody else. It really, really does like very fast turnarounds on things. But Beta you Brand know? always has huh? No, it's not no, it's not either one of those. Um crap. Anyway. Um but Beta Brand always is like always designing new things and they take things from the community and stuff like that. They always kind of vote on those and this just makes it faster for them. I like easy progression for them. Yeah. So the, the, one of the reasons I really like Beta Brand production reasons aside, 
um, again, is their marketing. Um, they keep you coming back. Um, like if you look at their emails, that's more engaging. It's like you have an input on exactly what they sell and they sell some weird crap, man. Like they've just got like the most bonker stuff on there. But if you go back there in a year, it's not going to be there. Like I bought this, it's my favorite hoodie and I wanted to get another one. Well, they don't make it anymore. It's, it's limited edition. So that also adds to that. Which hoodie um, was it? What's that? Which hoodie was it? It was just a black hoodie with a beta brand logo on the front. It was very generic, ah, okay. but it was, I like their logo. So that's why it appealed to me. And it's um, something like that. So nothing sells more than scarcity. If you tell someone that, hey, it's limited edition, it's, it's marketing 101. It's like if you just put slap limited edition on something, someone's going to say, oh, you know what? I want to get this before the next guy get this. Like something kicks in in your head. And they do that with their marketing. And it's, um, you know, like I said, it's, it creates some sort of like you're in on the joke. You're, you're in on the thing. Um, you've got, you know, if you look at some of their, the patterns that they do, they do these weird patterns where it's like, Oh, that guy's got a really cool shirt. You look real close and it's like the, it's like a poop emoji pattern on a shirt, but it's done in such a way. It's like very humorous. It's like tongue in cheeks and you wear their stuff. You're kind of in on the joke. You know what I mean? But their dress shirts are great. You know, they, I love their dress shirts. That's, I would never buy a poop emoji shirt. I'm a little too old for stuff like that. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe not. (laughs) Are you? Are you? Or am I? <laughs> or are you? That's funny. All right. Sounds like you have nothing more to add to this. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I just love their stuff. So. <laughs> All right. You got. All right. We'll wrap it up. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. Full show notes are e-commerce minute.co. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.